Hello everybody. In this video I will show you how I have increased the y-axis of my Tron XY X1 3D printer from the 150 mm original size to 400 mm length. First I had to replace the original aluminum profile of 250 mm by a new one with 500 mm. At this point I'm mounting the Y motor and the end stop switch in the new profile. As we have a longer aluminium profile, we have also to replace the tracking belt by a longer one in order to work with it. After the belt is secured to the car, we have to cut the excess. Now we have to install the longer y-axis setup in the printer. The middle point of the aluminium profile should be under the x-axis to maximize the printable length. As the Y motor will be away from the original point, we must redo the cable management. Then we have to install the print base again. At this moment I'm using the original print base, but the idea is to change this by a longer one. Here I'm testing the movement of the print plate, considering the new printer dimensions, and we have noticed that the maximum reach of the y-axis is limited by the printer software. We have to use the Repetier host software to configure the printer parameters stored in the EEPROM. Connect your USB cable to the printer, click in connect, wait a little bit, and now the printer is connected. Go to the config menu and select firmware EEPROM configuration. At this point we have to change the configuration of the Y max length parameter and set it to 400 millimeters. This change will allow the printer to move more than before. Now we still have to configure the printing area. Basically, is when you tell the software where the printing starts and when it ends. With this setting, the printing zone will be 400 mm long and 150 mm wide, as you can see in this image. Because I don't have yet the longer printing plate, I will have to do some changes in order to be able to print with the original plate that will be at 180 mm from the start. Now it's possible to use the full length of the y-axis. This is how the printer will be with the longer plate. For better stability I will have to, to move the, the adjusting knobs to the end of the plate. This is just the first part of this project. Uh, next I will have to design a new car and in this new car I will have to move the, the level knobs to the, to the end of the plate in order to increase the stability of the plate and then I will uh, design the new plate with 400 by 150. Thank you for watching and I hope you like it.